everyone, welcome back to Larson Prospecting. Today we have a few five gallon buckets that we're gonna be gold panning in a little tub in my house since it's really cold out. Um, I hope you enjoy the video, that's all there is. <laughs> the material from three different places this stuff right here is from a little creek that i found golden about a month back two classified buckets of it five gallon buckets and then this is just like an ice cream jar full of um this material my grandpa brought from a road by him that might have some gold because in the gravel pits by him there's sometimes gold <clears throat> and then this stuff this is from where the river i go in all my videos that's what this material is unclassified though and yeah you got some jet dry squirt ball snuffer bottle just a little pan because my 10 inch pan doesn't fit in there with me being able to pan. So just that little green pan and yep, we're gonna get some material done today. About half a pan. Did that first pan and didn't get a single speck again. Well, not again, first time. Let's do a second pan. Number two. Let's also look at the material in there. This from the little creek. Just a bunch of sands and glacial material. You know, we see black sands coming out right there. Um, we're gonna Pan this back, and I'll show you guys if we get anything. Back and nothing. Again. So I'm gonna take a pan from the river material this time. Since we're not doing so good with the material from that little creek. So I bet we'll get something from that spot. got a pan from the bucket with the river material. And I'll show you guys what we get. Oh, we got one tiny little flake from that pan. Right. Right there. Mm. Not super good, but it's something. This is my fourth or fifth pan. And this one, I got three three small 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 specks let's see if the camera can even pick them up right in there those things water's a bit mucky so it's hard to tell yeah there's three tiny dots in there all right all right, so we got half of a small pan from the river spot. And my sister let me use her tripod. So now I can pan with two hands and not have to film at the same time. So I'm, pan I'm gonna film one of my pans really quick.
take out some of the bigger rocks. Yeah, like I said, the five gallon bucket of material I got from the river that I go to, um, it was too cold and I had too little of time that day, so I didn't bother classifying. That's why there's still quite a bit of bigger rocks in it. Bigger rocks aren't really a problem or anything. They're just annoying when you're trying to pan back the black sands, which is what we're gonna do right now. And there's these little rocks in there. Well, not little, medium-sized. All right, let's pan this back. I hope the camera is on it right now. See, this is what I mean, how there's these little rocks like that. Yeah, I hope the camera's on it right now. I can't really see. So far, I don't see any gold. Let me take a closer look at this and I'll show you if we have anything. All right, so we did that pan and we didn't get anything. So I'm gonna take like a 10 minute break, have some lunch, come back and we'll finish the video there. So it is actually four or five hours later now. I know I said I was gonna pick up after lunch but i totally forgot about the video as you can see from outside it's dark um uh, i've barely made a dent in the material still up to the top still up there still up there it's just gonna be a long long time to pan there's so many little rocks in here in this material where there's barely even gold because so much even after classifying so much of it is taking up space from the rocks so i'm gonna do a little filming now i don't think i'm gonna do it for a long time just so i can relax tonight watch that tv all right so we got a full pan of material from the river bucket and since this video is going to be not very enjoyable because it's only me panning over and over i think i'll um for this pan i'll actually explain how to pan like how to gold pan so i'll kind of turn it into that sort of video just for this little clip so anyways um i wouldn't recommend getting one of these like flimsy pans like get a pan you should be able to just barely bend when you're at about half your strength trying to bend it in um or a fourth of your strength and so you get some material and anyways put water in it make sure the riffles at the front are facing forward get some water in it swirl it around in a circle shape because that stratifies the material to get all the gold to the bottom because the gold along with the magnetic sands and some garnets and like all the heaviest stuff, which is gold too, goes to the bottom. So when you do that, sorry about the dog. So you've done that for a tiny bit. Now you shake it side to side just to just to make sure. And then so all that gold, if there is any, is at the bottom. So what you do now is you kind of dip it in and out, which takes away that top surface of material, which is gonna be all the light stuff. And you keep doing that process over and over and over till you have, I don't know, maybe one cup half a cup of material that's just what i like to go down to 
and everybody has a different way of panning, but it's still like the same concept where you're stratif stratif stratifying, sorry. And I just like to take out a couple of the bigger rocks like that, just waving my fingers through. And like I said, keep doing that same process, stratifying, going in a circle, stratifying, I keep screwing that off, in a circle, and then side to side again with the riffles forward, because if there is any gold that's going out, the riffles will stop it with the force of the water. All right, and then forward, in and out. Take out a couple of the bigger rocks. Like that. And then keep doing that, keep doing that. But like I said, make sure if you're going out gold painting, get one of, this pan is more meant for a like clean up type thing or for painter or whatever. So, get one of Garrett Super Sluice. Get a Garrett Super Sluice pan. That is the best pan. Well, yeah, in my opinion, the best. And from a lot of other gold prospectors, I've heard that's the best, too. Alright, take out a couple more big rocks. There you go. By now, you're almost down to your black sands. Depending on where you are, you'll have more or less black sands. But that's a good indicator for gold because that's one of the heaviest things in the pan that you're gonna get in your pan, meaning that'll settle with the gold. So yeah, if you find black sands, that doesn't necessarily mean you have gold, but it's a good indicator. Actually, that's probably enough, so I will get this camera in a different spot where it can see better and paint it back. We got it down, and I moved the camera just because there wasn't a light, enough light over there. So, now we're going to paint this back. Yes, I do have my PJs on because that is comfortable. The whole reason I like to pan inside is because I'm warmer. Alright, so let's spin this back. Hope the camera can see. Alright, there we go. So what you want to... Oh, yeah. What you want to do is tilt your pan forward when you're down to your last material. Tap at the front a couple of times. Because that'll get all the gold right to that bottom corner going along there. Um... So yeah, tap it a couple of times, and then put your water back. Have your pan just like barely angled um, with one end pointing up a little bit. And what you're going to want to do is, my way of doing it is just side to side like that. That brushes away all the light material on the top. And you still have to watch for gold coming down right there. But most of the time it will be in that area up there. So, there we go. Let's do that more. Some more. Now, in this area where I am, Minnesota, obviously there's no big nuggets. So, you have to look a lot more carefully and go a lot more slow. Whereas, like, if you're in a gold claim where there's, like, only nuggets, then you don't have to look at every single dot that's in the pan. Alright. So far, I don't see anything. Oh, we actually do have two little pieces that I don't think the camera will pick up. Right there is one tiny one. Flower gold that I don't think the camera will see. 
And then another one right there that I can barely even see. So, yeah, that's what we're dealing with here in Minnesota. Wisconsin, there's actually some pickers every once in a while. Like from Flower Gold Wizard's channel, he gets some pickers every once in a while. But there is none here in Minnesota that I've ever gotten. So, I'll get this in a snuffer bottle and we'll continue with the video. So, there's the gold we got from all of that. That is a lot better than I really ever do. Got a little garnet right there, too. Um, so, yeah, for three, I think, five-gallon buckets, that's some really good gold in there. This video, I'm... The gold isn't in the water. I just decided to dry it out first. There's it in the real pan. Um, so thanks for watching today's video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in quite a while. And see you next time.